It's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and welcome to Fail Friday, the series where I either fix your baking fail, my baking fail, or I tell you how to avoid a fail. And today we're going to be talking about how to launch your baking business. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how to launch your home baking business. So let's get into it. So if you've watched my video before on the exact steps that I took to open my home baking business, then you know that I actually launched my baking business twice. And there was a whole reason and story for that. But I'm just gonna be talking about kind of the two different ways that I launched the business. So I wanna talk about one way, which is a soft launch. And then the other way, I actually don't know what to call it, but I would call it a more in your face launch. So first, let's talk about a soft launch and what that is. So there's the one home baking business where it kind of just starts out with you selling to friends and family and then it starts snowballing from there and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now generally I feel like that way isn't as planned and the more curated version is when you actually have that in your face, this is my bakery, this is what I'm doing, come and buy from me. Now that being said, a soft launch does not always have to be something that is unplanned. It can be set up this way because maybe you just want to dip your toe in and see how things go. And I actually did the soft launch probably the second time around. So you start out selling to your friends and family, but with the soft launch, this is different than just kind of starting all of a sudden. You do want to start kind of compiling ideas as you go. So with your soft launch, you're not coming out with a bunch of different products all at once. You don't even have maybe specifications that you're thinking of, but maybe you just kind of are starting to reach out to people seeing what it is that they want to order. Are people ordering cakes from you? Are people ordering cookies from you? Or primarily, are they ordering other types of desserts? You don't know what people in your area want until you actually start. So if you're wanting to more so build your business based on what the people around you want, rather than trying to convince them of what they want, which can be tricky, but also has its upsides, then I would suggest you go the soft launch approach. So you kind of gather information as you go, you know, you pick up a few orders here and there, and then you start working on things like your logo. And then you start working on things like setting up an Instagram and setting up a Facebook. Now, when it comes to a soft launch, there are no actual steps that you have to follow. It's a very intuitive, intuitive thing. You're going to see, oh, I'm getting a lot more orders. I'm going to need some way to organize this. Oh, I want other people to be able to reach out to me. I think I'm going to utilize Instagram, Facebook, and email to take on orders. And you're probably going to set those things up little by little as you go along. Things like branding, which I know I've said in past videos is not super, super important, but it is something that is probably going to come up. You don't need to spend a ton of money on branding is what I mean by that, but I think it is nice to have some sort of logo as simplistic as you would like or as detailed as you would like. And those things are just going to come about with a soft launch. And a soft launch can last up to a few months. You know, it does take time for word of mouth to get out there. And with the soft launch, you're not necessarily putting in a lot of work before you get your orders. So that is one way to launch your home baking business. Now let's talk about the more in your face launch, which actually seems more like something I would do. So I'm actually kind of surprised that I didn't do this, but if I were to restart selling baked goods from my home again, I would definitely do this type of launch. So first of all, all my social media would just be flooding with things. Firstly, I would make sure that I have a bunch of really, really professional looking pictures on the ready to go. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and hire a photographer. You can learn the tricks of the trade to make professional looking photos. All it really takes is some really, really good natural lighting. And you want to make sure that you are using products that you actually want to sell. So rather than the other approach, where you kind of gauge what people want to buy, you are dictating what you sell and you are dictating what it is that your strength is. So if you're going to be doing cakes, I would be launching a bunch of different cake pictures and you could make the leeway time of your launch as long or as short as you want. I think though that if you want to build up that excitement, 
Either two weeks to a month is a good range of time. So maybe you would start out with launching your first photo and then you upload different photos every day, kind of getting people excited about what it is that you are going to be selling. People eat and consume things with their eyes first. That goes with a lot of different types of products, but especially for things like baked goods. So if you're getting your community excited about what it is that you're doing, the likelihood of them ordering from you once you actually finally open up for orders is fairly high. Another great way to do a launch is to start off with some sort of giveaway or contest. Giveaways and contests are a great way to build a following. And I know I've warned you guys about the dangers before of doing contests and then you're really only gaining people that want to win contests and win your product for free. But I do think when it comes to something like a launch, people are looking for something that's new and fresh and they want to see what you're all about. And giving away some free product is a great way to kind of get word of mouth going. I know that when new businesses open and they do giveaways like this, I actually get really interested and I actually get emotionally invested with that company because you've seen them from the ground up. So I think that offering free product is a great way to get the buzz going before you even actually officially launch the ordering process. And I do think it's important to build up that social media, build up that excitement, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, or whatever social media platform you want to use. And of course you want to inform your family and friends as well. So after you've started creating that excitement by uploading different products, you do want to make sure that you have all of your menus ready to go. If you're going to launch this and be like, I'm ready now for ordering or whatever, then you do want to make sure that you've got your flavors listed, make them enticing, make them sound delicious. You want to be describing in words what it is that people are going to be expecting from you. And you want to find your something special, right? So if you're offering a flavor that is really specialized towards your home bakery, then you want to showcase that and you want to get people excited. You get to start with a clean slate right now, so there are no negative reviews. On the same token, there are no good reviews either. So really, like I said, I'm going to say it again, people consume products with their eyes. So you do want to make sure that you've got that in place. I promise that's the last time I'm going to say that. Now, keep in mind, this is not an actual bakery storefront, so there's not a lot of work that you have to do other than upkeeping your social media and making sure that you are advertising yourself. That is the biggest, biggest thing. You don't have to make product. You don't have to do anything. Now, if it weren't 2020, I might suggest doing something fun, like creating little boxes of treats and giving them out to friends and family, because of course you want to start there first when you're first starting out. And then, you know, word of mouth is going to travel. Your friends and family are probably going to start ordering from you first and so on and so on. So those are my ideas for how to launch your bakery. But honestly, if your product is good, you're going to get orders. Word of mouth is going to help you so much in this situation. I also think that you should join Facebook groups or other social media groups where you are allowed to promote your business. I think that this is a great way as well to launch. So if you're launching your bakery or you're just kind of starting off becoming a home baking business, I wish you the best of luck. I hope all of those tips, you were able to glean some information that was useful for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!